The damper was never an impediment to the continuation of the pretrial sitting on Thursday at the Oshun State High Court of Shobo, as counsels of the legal teams of the petitioners and respondents all moved for the adoption of their responses to some motions filed. However, due to the lateness of the filing of three other applications, the court granted their prayers that hearing should commence upon processes that are ripe while those yet to be filed should be applied for orally. Then, proper identification of motions follows. In his counter affidavit to the motion filed by the petitioner, Wego Utala and the APC, the counsel to Adumola Adelike, who is the second defendant, Ongechi Ikpiazu, SAN, argued that the second respondent was pronounced qualified to contest the 2022 Ocean governorship election based on the recent judgment of the Supreme Court against the petition filed by Dr. Mbabaemi. Same goes to the issue of his certificate as the judgment of the Apex Court is binding on the tribunal and thereby called for dismissal of the application due to the inconsistency of the claims of the plaintiffs, which also include incongruity in relation to the number of votes cast and accredited voters. Under counter affidavit was raised on the essence of the recent judgment of Justice Unwite of the Federal High Court Abuja Division to have ruled against the legality of Governor Malaboni of Yobe State's position to nominate and sponsor the candidature of Governor Agwe Gautala and his deputy. He also submitted that no lower court can decide otherwise, thereby praying the court to strike out the petition forthwith because the petition is subsisting. Citing the case between Jagada and INEC 2021 following the Undo governorship poll, as well as APN versus INEC, lead counsel to Goigo Tala and APC, the plaintiffs, Larson Sanusi, SAN, argued that the electoral law affirmed that Congress is saddled with the responsibility of nominating candidates, while submission of names can be done by any member of the party. He therefore prayed the court to dismiss such motion, coupled with the fact that an appeal has been filed by the respondent at the appellate court and no step should preempt the ruling of the higher court. Other motions filed at the disjunction of grounds on which the petitions are filed as moved by the lead counsel to the PDP, the third defendant, Dr. Alex Izion, and the prayer by the lead counsel to Heineck, which is the first defendant, Professor Paul Ananaba Essien, urging the tribunal to strike out some paragraphs, burden on forgery and a few others in the petition, sequel to the admittance of all parties that there are no pending applications to file. The Justice Tessia Kume led tribunal panel then called for adjournment to Monday, 17th of October, for the submission and hearing of the pretrial report while hearing fully commences Wednesday, 26th day of October, year 2022. In Oshobo, Joshua Okuchide, NT News.